Hello again everyone. In this video I'm going to be spending some time talking about how Industrial Defender can help you prepare for your NERC SIP audits or in general in honesty your NERC SIP needs. Um, the majority of this demonstration is going to be going through some of the NERC SIP reports that we have available within the Industrial Defender product but the reports are all keyed upon the quality of the data and the, the frankly the quantity and the depth of the data of the configuration of the different devices that we happen to be monitoring every single day. So it's a uh, the way that we excel with our NERC SIP reporting is yes our reporting is very thorough and very good but without the data underneath the reports the reporting would really not be particularly interesting. So in this demo, if you've seen any of our previous demonstrations, you, this may look a little familiar. You'll see that we have a, a list of all the different devices that I have in our demo environment here. Everything from data dios to Schweitzer gateways and relays and Siemens, Rockwell, uh, some building management system devices, some Windows and Linux, of course, um, and uh, a combination of everything from firewalls to PLCs to HMIs, et cetera, and switches even. So it's a pretty healthy mix of different device types. So going into our reporting section, we'll, take a, we'll be focusing most of today's recording on the compliance area, and specifically on the uh, NERC SIP, and we have NERC SIP 3 and NERC SIP 5. I've taken away NERC SIP 3 just to, so that we can focus just on the most uh, current release, which is SIP 5. And you can see the different elements of NERC SIP 5 that we happen to cover. Now, NERC SIP has lots of different elements, as you know, and requirements, uh, everything from physical security to uh, active and open ports and services running on a, syst on a system and, and documenting what has happened within a certain period of time. Uh, that is where Industrial Defender excels. The physical security we don't measure particularly with Industrial Defender and so we don't have that SIP covered within our list of reports that are available to us. So before I dive into one of the reports, or a couple of the reports to be honest, um, I wanted to show a couple of things. One is you'll notice that we have some several instances of similar reports. And by that I mean you can do asset versus asset, baseline versus actual, change over time, or time versus time, all having to do with user accounts. But we, we take that same concept and apply it to lots of different areas. So if you're going through an audit and the auditor asks you to provide documentation on what's changed on a certain device or a class of devices over the past 31 days, it's a very simple process to come in here and do a time versus time report specific to whatever it is that the auditor is particularly interested in. Okay. So let's just take a, a quick one. Uh, one that I, I often hear complaints about is SIP 7, uh, where we're talking about documenting ports and services. So for any of our reports, you can either view the report or you could subscribe to the report. Uh, viewing the report is pretty much as you would assume. You're actually executing a report, executing a query against the database, and having the results displayed in a nice report for you to do what you will with it. Subscribing to a report is similar but different. A subscription, you're basically telling Industrial Defender that you want to execute this report or this query on a regular basis every other day, every week, every other week, every quarter, every, if you can come up with the time critic, you know, the time elements, then the system will execute the report at that time and email you the, the report in whatever format you determine when you build out the subscription. So it's very handy. So let's do a very simple time versus time, well, probably not for, for this one. Let's, let's take a look at 
Well, NERC-SIP 10. NERC-SIP 10 has, we have a standard baseline report, and we'll just actually execute the, the, the report itself. So this actually will go through and document many sub-elements that are critical to passing a NERC-SIP audit, frankly. So the, the questions that I'm answering now are basically letting Industrial Defender know what devices do I want to actually execute this uh, against. Uh, so I'm going to run it against a couple of different groups of assets and locations of assets. Um, and now that I picked three, you know, all the different asset groups and three different locations, it gives me a list of the different devices that are on that particular, uh, that, that match that criteria basically. And I'll put a, I'll put a firewall in there. I'll put a window system in there. Um, and that's probably good enough. And what time do we want it to be referenced to? And this is basically the current time. So yes, I want to work with the latest set of data for those two devices I think I picked. So a report, the format of the report is going to be consistent across all of our reports. The first second is telling me what elements I chose. Uh, then we always come up with a description of the report, letting you know that this standard baseline report consists of the ports and services, the OS, the inventory, etc. And then what what did I choose? You know, I chose different asset groups. I chose three different locations, and from that, I chose two different devices. So for the demo lab location, asset demo win 1002. We're looking at the ports and services first of all. So the port number, is it TCP, is it UDP, is it IP4, is it IP6, which network card is it on, uh, what process is holding open the port. And this is critical for, since this is a Windows system, for example, most services are going to be managed by the service host. But Industrial Defender can also tell you what the the child process is. So you can see W32 time is the actual running process that is holding open UDP port 123. And we can go through here, see all the other different ports that are open, and then we can get into the operating system, uh, the version of operating system, etc. And then finally, some uh, software information, inventory information. Now, we can save our reports in lots of different formats. You can see the different format types here. Truthfully, the majority of our clients will save the reports in Excel format so that they can then, uh, frankly, prune out particular bits of information that the, um, the auditor didn't ask for. There's no reason to provide the auditor with more details, more information, than what the auditor actually asks for. And so it's very simple to, to deal with that by just exporting this report into a, an Excel format where you can then trim the, the certain columns and take columns out of the, of the report, if you so wish. So let's go back and take a look at another report. If we take a look at something like um, NERCSIP 4, R4, we can look at user accounts, maybe user accounts time versus time. Uh, again, this is a free floating type of a report where you're basically saying, I want to look at any user accounts uh, between two points in time and I get to decide what those two points in time happen to be. You know, instead of a, a canned set of uh, pre-done reports that are only set for you know, seven days, 21 days, 30 days, 90 days, etc. We get a little bit, it's, it's completely up to you. If you want to do a report to measure 25 days, no problem at all. So let's take a look here. I'm picking a few different devices. And you know what? I could look at the differences, but let's just look at all the different accounts on those different devices between October 2nd and October 3rd, and that's kind of not a lot of time, so let's make it August 2nd. And then we'll view the report. And again, this report should look, the heading of it should look very similar. 
where you get the basic information, you get a nice description of the report, what the report is intended to show you, and then the selection of the different devices that I picked. So in here you can see in my demo lab location, this is the particular device that we're looking at, and you can see uh, the different information here and time number one, which is August 2nd versus August, uh, sorry, October 3rd, which is the second point in time. And you can see the different uh, uh, user accounts here. And again, you can also save these off as Word or Excel or PDF, etc., however you want. So again, let me go through here really quickly and just show you again the different types of NERC SIP reports that we have available with Industrial Defender. Uh, it is a very healthy set of reports. Um, we can do anything from firewall rules, uh, time versus time. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at firewall rules really quickly and then I'll, I'll wrap this up because this honestly does not need to be a particularly lengthy uh, talk today. But I think it is important to see that, yes, we can deal with more than just a, um, window systems. Uh, I have a FortiGate in here. Uh, let's look at a force switch also. Uh, let's, yeah, the differences. I don't know if there are any differences, but yeah. So let's choose all values. I don't think that we've made many changes to our demo firewall. Um, Okay, and here you are. You can see for my FortiGate firewall, you can see the different uh, policies that are on or uh, policy rules that are in place for our particular FortiGate Fortinet firewall. <laughs> Fortinet FortiGate firewall. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I hope this was a helpful demonstration, but I really, I think it's critical that everyone see the, the depth and how we can cover many, many different areas of your NERC SIP needs. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Industrial Defender. Uh, reach out via our website, www.industrialdefender.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.